guys welcome back to another another gameplay of days gone um i just before i you know do the the other main stories i kind of want to um you know check up here you know because deke really wanted to come up here and i guess pay pay his respects for his beloved so here i am let's do it uh, hey me again so, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and, uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but, like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and... And now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team with packing sodas at a mini mart. Or, no, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game that Boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the ship went down. You know. I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil should live through that shit, so maybe it's because I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but... That, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening and ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Oh, man. Me. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling, man. Even though I'm not good at exp explaining, you know, but I am good at understanding. But, alright, let's be on, be off to our next mission. I'm sure whatever Sarah is, I'm sure you're peace. She's proud of you, geek. Oh, goddamn, I'm saying, well, it's, not, it's, not, it's pretty ex explanatory why, the, why they're there. But, I um, hope everyone's good morning is going well. The sun is coming up once again. And hold on, let me get out of this maze type of area. I don't know why, guys. I, I sometimes, I feel like I get lost in here. But, yeah. So, guys, um, just to let you know, if I take too long to get to my destination, I'll just, you know... Adding my way, adding my ass to there, to there. I mean, and you know, we'll just go on chilly, chilly, bang, bang type of style. Up, oh, hold on. I think that was my way out. Okay. Um. Well, hold on. I mean, let me be on the road. Why I? Speak what's on my mind. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, me and my fucker. All right. Now, um, well, I was gonna say, guys, have anyone heard about the um, that te Texas uh, massacre, the, that shootout that's going down in Texas? I know I'm not trying to like make turn this gaming channel into some politics or stuff, but I just, you know. I mean, I give my, you know, my, my, you know, you know, my, 
you know, consonants to um, to all those to all those there in, in Texas. You know, you guys stay strong, man. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I may be planning on moving to Texas in the future, in in a in a, later on in the, in the future. And I'm mean, hearing all this massacre and these shooting massacre shootings going on. It's really it's really sad, man. I mean, I have to, I'm at, I have to deal with major major ups and downs in Cali, but you know, I, I just hope that things gets pretty pretty better there. You know, I mean, I'm not expecting no sunshine and rainbows, but I mean, I just I just don't I just hope things you know hope things you know gets all the well. Even though I'm not particularly a person who is able to. Be, yeah, be, um, I don't know what, um, direct or pacific on what he says. I'm just not that person, guys. I try, but I can tell you deeply that I understand. I hope things, you know, gets better for him. But, man, these things are really trying to get me. Oh, that man. Was that a bat? Oh, sorry guys, I gotta stop. Gotta get this bat. This? Get, about to get ready to home home run a mother tonight, man. Oh man. You know, um, I'm not gonna like um, be specific on my people, but I will tell them like I got people. And in Texas saying that it's pretty good. And I got people in Arizona they saying it's pretty good, but it's really hot and you gotta watch out for the scorpions. And I got some people in, in um, Nevada. They saying it's pretty good out there as well. Except this, that city doesn't sleep because they, either, I guess he stays a little bit close to Vegas. I mean, honestly, whenever I go to Vegas, I go to Vegas to party and, you know, gamble, play blackjack and a little bit of poker. By the way, I, now that I'm at, now that I'm just bringing that up, what's your favorite card games? And you know, if you ask me, mine is, is Twenty One Ace. I don't know why. I just like I can't get enough of it. Oh no no! What am I doing? Hurry, Deke, hurry! Ah, okay, that's enough. <laughs> but yeah, um, and and also. How good, like, how professionally good are you guys are into those games? Like, poker, I'm, st I'm still a beginner. Um, 21 Ace, I'm starting to get the hang of it, but I would say I'll, uh, I'm good at an amateur level. But, I mean, as I played it little by little, you know, I start to really get the understanding of the, uh, the full fundamental understandings of, of the card games. But, Texas Hold'em, I need more time on that. Like, I have to literally, like, read books on how to really play that game and play the game very well like i wasn't that much good like that much of a card player i don't know why but as i start to get like now get into it i'm starting to like it i'm really starting to like it start it helps me to really develop um strategic that strategic strategic ways on how on coming up with one one thing after another just that's just in my opinion but yeah I really enjoyed the, playing the hell out of 21 Ace, though. That, that that's that's my spot. But you know, I have a critique on grasping skills to a whole nother level. You know, I was that like I didn't really like chess that much, and I'm starting to really like it because it, it it gets you to think and how to outsmart you know your opponents. Even though I lose all the time to um, all my other people that I play chess with, but that's fine, you know. I'm just, you know, I'm just getting into it, getting my feet wet, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Man, you, is it me or are these what they call freaks are more, more aggressively? I guess they're still pissed off at me burning down their hurt, their hives. Um, Y'all going around here going ham and everyone you need to respect. Everyone's sick of y'all. But yeah.
Yeah, but I had to like, like I didn't really understand much about chess. I just had to like do this boring stuff, read the goddamn books about how this and that, move pawns, learn to learn about the horse, uh, the, 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 the queen, the king, because you have to definitely protect the queen. I think that's the most important chess chess person on the, on the board. Yeah. That's that's just particularly particularly what I'm doing. Oh man, you know. I just hope that America gets better. You know what I mean? I, I truly do. I just like I know I'm I'm not I don't really want to talk about this on my gaming channel because I don't want to like create any kind of any kinds of converse conversy or politic the um you know just try to bring any politics into the game but i just can't help but wonder as i'm just riding you know as i'm walking it gets me to think about this stuff you know our country is getting worse you know i mean it's just I, I just hope it gets better you know i i truly truly hope so like i always been thinking about if i have kids i i can't like in my personal um, experience, I can't raise them in California. I have the person I was back then, and the educational systems, they're just garbage. I mean, it, it, you know, I, I just have a better chance of raising them elsewhere. Like, because the, the knowledge I have to um, learn, like, I have to undo all the, the crap that I was learned and then re relearn the stuff that. Oh, no, not these things again. Out of, my, out of my way. Got you. But yeah. Well, looks like we're almost here, guys. Story time's over. Oh, he doesn't attack me. I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is going to be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien? Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I'm gonna do another helicopter job. Oh, no, nope. they already landed. Okay. I told you they're not my friends. Yeah, gotta okay. hide. Head it on foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, what are we gonna do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. All right, spread out and secure the. No, don't not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher, and she's there to investigate an infected subject, the, the freak that was tagging a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons into a cave? Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. <clears throat> well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking? I watch myself. Oh, no. Oh, Brian out. Squad check. Lockdown. Hmm? Okay, what was that? Yep. Getting closer. No, move. Ooh, I'm 
almost effed up, guys. Just stay close there. Right, over right. I never got that. Got what? Easier said than Whole stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. Before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, Stay expressing a series of normally dormant functions into an active state. Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she right. done? Now I gotta sneak my way out of here okay. again. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. I don't know, I don't know, guys. Something tells me that that Sarah. I don't know. I'm, I'm calling it. I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna gamble on this. All right. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Go to the light. Go something. to the light. Or I can just go to the back, of course. Oh, a dead end, of course. Wait, yes. Ooh. I was a little nervous, but I'm not out of this yet. That went pretty well. It's on a mission. Damn, skip it. All right, next now. Yeah, I got time. On to our next, uh, next mission. Flow like Brian, the river. Come in. I've got the data. You're seeing it now. Thank you, Drifter. What the hell is she talking about, Brian? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien? Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Oh, boy, this is going to get fast. They're up to something. But anyway, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Ugh. Yeah, as I was talking about... Oh, hold on. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty quick. Hold pretty on, I quick. Know. Open up. Yeah, I'm gonna ride my way. They can't, they got it. they got this. Alright. Let's see what we can do. Knock knock. Deke. I've been uh thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north Good of the night, lake? Mike. I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's go. So this is an escort mission, huh? 
I know Mike is old and all. I hope he can really protect himself. I mean, not trying to, duty you know. Anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. The old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Oh, man. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like Turn this one. Down you go! Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, I ain't got nothing to craft. I thought I did. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of him. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Nice <laughs> work. These schizos just found a new man for the job. Mm. You know what schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Well, we're here. All right, get, get down. Oh. Jesus Christ! This is why you brought me out here? Smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him? Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Oh, man, I hope you know what you're doing, Deke. You want us to tell the herd? I can't run. Oh, do there it goes. This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah, in July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Boozer two, Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers it's never best go to stay down. In those bushes. You got a point? It's these hordes. Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sandium Highway. Thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Centium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. <laughs> well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through, maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So what are you thinking that we... Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick it down to my there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and other stuff comes. All right, 
you got my attention. Okay, come on, let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed them. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track them down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks used the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but a job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. all right guys i'm gonna call this video a day but yeah man i appreciate all the likes and and all the subscribe all the people that subscribe to this channel you know i promise it will get better i know i keep saying it but i'm i mean i'm the type of person you know who's i who's man i am the man of my word so yeah uh yeah of course, expect more, and I'll catch y'all the next one. Take it easy.